Folks, I decided today it was time for me to finally join the family of YouTube fire alarm videos. Um, I received this Simplex 4004 system in the mail today. It was uninstalled from a child care facility. Um, it was done by a licensed electrician, I was told. Everything is here. The uh, 4004 panel. Um, I have four of the uh, strobe lights, the 4704. Uh, 9137s, one of which is up here, which is currently hooked into NAC 2. Um, two uh, 2099 9754 pull stations and two 4903 9219 horn strobes, which are currently not hooked up because I do not want to scare the neighbors half to death. So, right now, just the strobe is hooked up as the uh, um, notification appliance. Um, I've got the two pull stations hooked up. This is uh, zone number one and zone number two on the panel. Um, the, uh, sorry, zone number two, zone number one. I have them backwards. Right now the system is in trouble with lowercase d because it's missing batteries. It's not happy. So that's why the trouble is on. So I've got the uh, strobe up here set up um, on NAC2, which has the jumper set to sound until system reset. Uh, instead of uh, sound until alarm silence. Uh, they had it set up where NAC1 uh, was the horns and NAC2 was the strobes. So even when they silenced the horns, the strobes would still keep going. So that's the way I've left it set up for now. And I'll decide later what I want to do with it. So I'm going to put the system into fire alarm and let's do zone number one. As you'll see, the panel will start beeping and there goes the strobe. Got zone number one. I'm going to acknowledge it and then silence the horns, which are not plugged in. You'll see the LED comes on for alarm silenced and the strobe is still going. So I'm going to reset the pull station. Eventually I hope to get these either in a box on the wall or something where it stands up. There were boxes that came with them. I just haven't done anything with it yet. I'm gonna reset the system. This will take 10 to 15 seconds uh, and then the strobe will stop running. Um, I did go through and get a power cord hooked into it and figured out the whole uh, mess with the resistors that you had to take care of those in order to not get the system in trouble. So now the system is reset, the pull station is reset, and everything is good to go. So uh, thanks for watching. Hope to make more uh, videos soon. Please feel free to comment. Talk to you later.